So this is an unconstrained univariate optimization. And we'll see that when we combine the idea of quadratic optimization and a line search, which is unconstrained univariate optimization, the combination of these ideas is extremely powerful in solving almost any smooth optimization problems. So line search focuses on how j depends on a one-dimensional s. All right. So here, imagine I have a landscape that is pretty arbitrary. So how do I find this point that minimizes the function? What do you propose us to do? Again, think of this function as something that we can uh, we can evaluate anything about it, right? We can compute j, we can compute the gradient of j, we can compute the second derivative of j, whatever we want. So, what would you do first? Right, doing Newton Raphson search for the zero is actually a pretty good idea. Okay. So here, um, one of the key idea is that newton raphson is actually a key idea in uh, almost uh, a, a majority category of optimization algorithms. So the idea is, if you want to look for the minimum of an objective function, you are also looking for the zero point of its derivative. And solving optimization problem, uh, we can solve optimization problem through solving the problem of dj ds equal to zero, right? So dj ds, if we assume we can evaluate dj ds, then the optimization problem becomes a root finding problem. And one of the best algorithm for root finding is Newton. Ralphson optimization. So if we can translate this particular landscape into dj ds, what do we get? Over the rising part of the j, we get a what? A positive dj ds, right? So my dj dx is high over here, it becomes low over here, it becomes higher over here, it suddenly drops back to zero and something like this. So this is going to be my DJDS, right? Okay. newton raphson method starts at a, almost a random initial guess. So if I start, for example, right over here, what do I get? Um, what I get is I start with the S0. newton raphson method computes the function for which I'm trying to find the root. So it computes dj ds at this point. Then it computes the derivative, right? So let me actually start uh, with a little bit nicer point. If I start over here, this is my s0. I compute dj ds over here, and I compute the tangent, the derivative of dj ds. So my s1 is going to be s0 subtracted by this length and this length is the actual value of this function which is dj ds at s0 divided by the derivative right basically uh, the derivative is the tangent the derivative of dj ds is what is the second order derivative right so this is one of the steps of newton raphson method. So here would be S1, right? S1 would be the next guess. So why, why does it make sense? It makes sense because if I am already very close to the intersection point, then the landscape is very close to being linear. And basically, 
by approximating the, uh, the, the djds as a linear function, I can get very close to the root of the function. But does it work if my, let's say, s0 is here? Okay, it doesn't actually really work because if I start the same formula, my dj ds is this point, my second derivative, which is the tangent of this line, is almost flat. Right? Okay, so I'm dividing by something that is almost zero, maybe a little bit positive, maybe a little bit negative, and the division is either going to take me to almost infinite, uh, positive infinity or negative infinity. So. Newton Raphson only works when you are very close to the solution. It doesn't really work when you are still far away from the solution. Right? So now can we go back to this optimization problem of a line search problem to see if we actually are over here. So where uh, where can I find a second order derivative? So here, let's say the second order derivative is almost zero. So from here, how do I use something that is more robust than newton raphs method when I'm still far away from the optimum? We can step small, right? So that's that's a very good point. So here, if we know the derivative dj ds, then we know if we take a small, by definition of the derivative, we know if we take a small step, which direction should I take the small step in order for my j to decrease? A big part of optimization is just to, to take small steps to progressively decrease the objective function, just to get better and better designs along the way. Right, so we don't necessarily want to get to the very optimum in one shot. And actually in complex problems, even simple one-dimensional problems, getting to the exact optimum may not be actually that practical. So we'll be taking steps towards the optimum, but maybe never get to it. A lot of optimization problems, starting from even this one-dimensional one, is iterative. Every step we're improving, every step we want to make sure that we are improving on the objective function, not making it worse. Alright, so that's the essence of line search. And a good line search algorithm really kind of defaults to the Newton's method when you are actually getting close to the minimum. But when you are far away from it, still guarantees that every step I'm improving the objective function.